Hello, I'm Abed Soleimani. I want to present my work, Deep Neural Skill Assessment and Transfer, Application to Robotic Surgery Training. Due to the high sensitivity and complexity of robotic surgery tasks, acquiring appropriate skill levels by trainee surgeons through an effective training process is very important and affects the patient's safety and the quality of surgical outcomes. With the advanced deep learning technology and the recent availability of surgical procedures data, intelligent methods can be deployed to assess and transfer the skills of an experienced surgeon or mentor to a novice surgeon or trainee. A skill is a deep learning-based model that extracts the skill-related features from the kinematics data of a surgical robot for the skill assessment purposes. The input of the model is a 20 second interval of the task performance that has 600 time samples. Due to the fact that the frequency domain is a good representative of spatial temporal features of user activity, such as smoothness and fluidity, we fit each input to the fast Fourier transform block. The process data will be fed into one deconvolutional layer to further process and capture temporal data. The feedforward path or the residual topology of the network allows low-level information of the input trajectory to be preserved in the depth of the network and be used in the latent feature layer. Finally, Processed features will be fed into the fully connected layer that determines the level of expertise of the input trajectory. As illustrated in the figure, SkillNet maps the expert and novice input trajectories to vectors Fe and Fn in the latent feature space of the model respectively. If we assume that Fe is sampled from probability distribution rho e and Fn is sampled from rho n, in order to make novice trajectory to behave more expert-like, we need to converge rho n to rho e. This is the fundamental idea in a skill transfer and improving the surgical quality of a novice trainee. A solution for this problem is making their probability distribution similar. It will increase the skill level of the combined trajectory and reduces skill loss. At the same time, we do not want to distort the user's intention or, in other words, deviating from the original trajectory. As a result, we need to jointly minimize two losses, a skill and intention loss. The intention loss is the reconstruction loss and a skill loss is the gram-based loss that theoretically minimizes the style difference between two novice and expert trajectories. The total loss is the combination of these two losses. Finally, the enhanced combined trajectory will be converged to its optimal solution via gradient descent optimization. This figure shows the skill transfer algorithm. The algorithm tries to optimize the enhanced combined trajectory C from the base novice trajectory N at the middle of the figure. The algorithm based on the latent feature vector Fc, iteratively updates C to simultaneously minimize the skill loss and intention loss of the combined trajectory C concerning the mentor's trajectory E and the base trajectories N. This figure shows base trajectories uh, in red lines and their enhanced combined trajectories in blue lines for three different trainees with three different levels of expertise. Trainees, tra trainees' trajectory in the first row have been enhanced based on the skill features of Mentor 1, and those in the second row have been enhanced over the skill features of Mentor 2, who is a different person with a different level of expertise. Enhanced trajectories are smoother and more predictable compared to their base novice trajectory. Predictability means less occurrence on, of unwanted motions that reduces the entropy of the time series. As it is shown, 
the suggested enhanced trajectory for each trainee has the same correction pattern when that trajectory is improved based on different mentors. Moreover, the network gives better enhancement for the trainee's trajectory when it injects the extracted skill behaviors from a mentor with a higher level of expertise. In other words, trainees will be trained better under the supervision of a more experienced mentor. In real time, SkillNet continuously injects the extracted skill-related features into the trainee's trajectory and returns the enhanced combined trajectory C along with the confidence of the skill classification network, where epsilon, about the trainee's trajectory N. First, we estimate the next point C hat, and then collaborative robot provides the user with a marked correction force to guide him or her toward the estimated enhanced reference point. To evaluate a skill net's performance in practice, we used completely different input trajectories to check the network generalization when it is facing new data coming from new subjects and a completely different robotic platform. Five right-handed users performed the task of tracking squiggly line in six trials. To circle around the need for expert and novice users, we considered dominant hand motion trajectories of the user as expert data and trajectories coming from the other hand as novice data in the task of tracking a squiggly line. As you can see in the plot, the confidence of the network about the dexterity level of the right hand is 29 out of three inputs was higher than that of the left hand. The results of the applied skill transfer algorithm show that enhanced trajectories have enhanced approximate entropy and hand tremor re reduction and noise cancellation compared to their base trajectories. In this work, we present a deep convolutional neural network skill net for, for extracting the skill-related features of a user working with Da Vinci surgical system. Extracted features were used in a skill transfer algorithm to generate a new reference trajectory with minimum deviation from the base trajectory and more skillful features. Then trajectories have considerable enhancement over the trainee's trajectory in terms of predictability of motion, hand tremor reduction, and noise cancellation. The enhanced trajectory can be applied as a virtual fixture in the robotic platform to guide the trainee's hand toward more skillful behavior. Thank you so much for your attention.